Red flag on the play here. Wow. This girl's incredible. And pulling such an advanced, multi-level manipulation attack at the age of 19. Lesson time, my brothers. Pay attention. The first layer is, she is guilt-tripping you. She accuses you of not appreciating her honesty and transparency, which shifts the blame onto you and makes you feel guilty for your reaction. This tactic is aimed at making you feel responsible for her actions and feelings, diverting attention from her behavior. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Magic's monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, am I the a-hole for telling my girlfriend I want her out of my house because she tolerated another man? But before embarking on an expedition to knowledge, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. I'm a 21 year old male and I've been dating this 19 year old girl for a while now. We live together in my house. Sometimes we seem to be in love, but I keep finding out that she's been talking to other guys. Slap to the back of the head. Are you so afraid of being alone that you must have your 19 year old girlfriend living with you? That is a little young and too soon, dude. In a way, it screams you have no options. And when a woman, generally speaking, sees you have no options, the E. coli tests begin to ramp up. Think about this. What did she do to earn the, that privilege of being allowed to share your space? These are the kinds of things that need to be earned, not given like Halloween candy. Things people do not earn, they do not appreciate. You gave way too much status in your life way too soon. By the way, if you own your own home at 21, good for you, my brother. When I try to approach her about it, she apologizes and we move on. There, right there. The beginnings of a lack of respect and she does it over and over because she knows you have no other options and you will do nothing about it. We teach people how to treat us. On Friday, we were at an event and she gave out her number to some guy, allegedly for business purposes. Later, she came to me saying that the guy was hitting on her and wanted to take her out. She also mentioned that most of her friends think she should dump me for this new guy because, well, he's more well off. Slap to the back of the head. Your next words should have been, then I suggest you take your friends up on that, pack your shit and get out. Of course, most experienced masculine men know two things will happen. She will backtrack or she will try and manipulate you via shaming or attempting to turn it around on you and play victim. Pay attention here, guys. For those of you who have yet to be in this position, what she made was a veiled threat. Speaking in generalities, women are indirect. I call it communication by any passive aggressive means necessary. This is a concept many of us guys don't seem to get. 
Have you noticed when a groups of women get to talking, you may hear one of them say, oh, and what does that mean? Well, when men communicate with other men, that phrase is not part of our masculine lexicon. Why? Because in the world of men, the way it's supposed to work is to say what you mean, mean what you say, and do as you say, direct and to the point. When I heard this, I was disappointed. I didn't understand why she let the conversation get to that point. Slap to the back of the head. Because you, my brother, I'm sorry, I'm going to give it to you straight, are a dumbass beta provider who is giving her free room and board while she looks for a better deal to trade up and kick you in the nuts on the way out. I hope to God you haven't been such an idiot and given her access to your financial data or joint accounts. If you have, you need to immediately put an end to that. She got angry saying, I didn't appreciate her being honest and transparent with me. She went on to say, she's never gonna, she went on to say, she's never gonna let me know if another man talks to her or asks her out. I'd rather you find us chatting, she said. Piss off. Really? Okay, red flag. On the play. Wow, this girl is incredible. Pulling such an advanced multi-level manipulation attack at 19. Lesson time, my brothers. Pay attention. The first layer is she's guilt tripping you. She accuses you of not appreciating her honesty and transparency and shifts the blame onto you and makes you feel guilty for your reaction. This tactic is aimed at making you feel responsible for her actions and feelings, diverting attention from her behavior. Now the second layer is threats and ultimatums. She threatens to stop informing you about interactions with other men and suggests you might find them chatting instead. This creates an atmosphere of uncertainty and insecurity, pressuring you to tolerate her behavior to avoid worse scenarios. But yet, there's more. There's a third layer to this. Deflection and minimization. By saying that you don't appreciate her honesty, she deflects attention away from her actions, engaging with other men and giving out her phone number, and minimizes the seriousness of those actions by framing your reaction as an overreaction. How many of you watching right now are going, hey, wait a minute, this feels familiar, God damn it. This has been used on me. In the comments below, give a brief description of your personal experience if you can relate to this brother's experience and help others know they're not alone. She went on to say she's never gonna let me know if another man talks to her or asks her out. I'd rather you find us chatting, she said, piss off. This got on my nerves. I got angry. We fought and I said I wanted to break up and asked her to leave immediately. She refused to leave and later turned the tables saying I was immature for kicking her out. She insists I'm an idiot for reacting that way. Slap to the back of the head. That was for letting this situation get that far. What she just did to you was layer number four, insulting and devaluating you as a man. She insults you by calling you an idiot and suggesting that your reaction is idiotic, which is a direct attack on your self-esteem and judgment. This is intended to make you doubt your feelings and reactions, keeping you 
off balance and more likely to accept her unacceptable behavior. You have allowed her to manipulate you, bring you into her frame of reality, or as I like to say, model of the world, and control of the relationship. In short, she's made you her little bitch. Telling her to leave at this point won't work. Here's what I think you should do. One, go down to the county clerk's office or call a lawyer and find out in your jurisdiction, can you just pack her stuff up and throw her out, change the locks, or are you required to file an eviction notice? Two, if you can throw her out, then get some friends while she's at work or out clubbing one night. Have one take a video as the rest of you pack up all her crap, box it to prove that she didn't damage anything, that's what the video's for, because she will make claims that you damaged it, and then take it over to a family member or her friends and leave it. Three, that day, change the locks. Four, purchase wireless security cameras and put them all around the house and on the inside to capture any crap storm she sends your way. Expect her to go off the deep end and do something incredibly stupid and you'll need the video evidence to file charges and get a restraining order. This is a girl who has never suffered consequences and in her head you are weak. When the time comes, do not let her off the hook no matter what. 5. Block her number, her friends, her family on all media after you send out a mass communication stating that she is a cheater and you have ended the relationship on those grounds. Do not let her control the public narrative. Six, buy a voice activated recorder, recorder or a clip on micro video camera and do not leave home without it. Count on her attempting to ambush you during your day to create a situation where she can claim victimhood to the police to get you arrested. You will need this to save your ass when she attempts this. Should it happen, as I expect, you can then prove she has lied to the police. Subsequently, file a complaint of her filling out a false police report and show no mercy. Number seven, do not let her back into your life. If she comes to your door, do not answer. There is no need to talk to her so she can get closure. It's a trap. It's a trap. Eight. If you must, by law, serve her with an eviction notice and you own the house, have hidden cameras installed in all rooms because she will attempt to set you up for domestic violence charges when you call the police, most likely to protect you from her. I suggest talking to a lawyer to learn about domestic violence laws in your state, province, or jurisdiction so you will know what you can and cannot do if she goes off the deep end on you. Make sure those cameras stream to a cloud to protect it from her and give access to someone you trust just in case the unthinkable happens or you're not able to get to it so they can get it to the police. In the comments below, folks, give your thoughts on anything I may have missed. If you are the 74.3% of men who find value in my channel and the 257 of women, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who need to learn from my channel. 
send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my Locals Rumble Twitter Getter or Gab. Through this, you are leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next new video, then click on one of these now and watch another. Until next time.